quick demonstration of how to sync other athletes in Sauce Performance and also how to backup and restore your data. So we're going to start with the backup and restore. And what we're going to do is we're going to backup data from a browser, which I've already synchronized the athlete on. In this case, it's just myself. And then we're going to switch to another browser, which is um, never synchronized anything. And we're going to we're going to upload or we're going to restore the, the file that we created here. So the way you do this is you want to find the sync panel icon. It's the little recycling icon. And it doesn't have to be on this performance page. It can be the one which is on the activity page or even your profile page. But when you click that, that will bring up the sync panel, of course. And then down here at the bottom, there's a backup and restore data button. So we're just going to click that and wait for this to create one or more backup files and make sure that you take note of how many files it creates. Okay, and in this case, it looks like uh, only one file was needed. If there's more than a, about a gigabyte of data, then it, it might have to create more than one file. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the other browser. We're going to go to Strava. And this browser already has Sauce installed. And we'll go to the fitness tracking page. And because it's the first time that we've used Sauce Performance on this device, we get the, the normal sort of introduction. So go ahead and click the Activate button. And then we're going to go to the sync panel again. And this is trying to do the, the network sync, which will take a very long time. So we're going to go ahead and stop it. And it doesn't matter if this is enabled or not. When we do the restore, it's effectively going to overwrite any of the settings which are in here right now. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, and another thing to note is that uh, you can restore any athlete's data from any sync panel. So it doesn't have to be the, the same athlete. So you, you, can, you can specify any files that you want here. And in fact, you can specify more than one. So we're going to select the file which was created on the other browser. We'll hit open. Now I'm speeding this up for the video, but it should just take a couple minutes. And after the data is imported, then the statistics are recomputed. Okay, um, now that that's done, we can go ahead and close this. And it's just a good idea to refresh that page and we can see that all of the data is there. All right, so now let's go and look at how we're gonna sync another athlete. So you won't, you won't select a new athlete from the Sauce Performance page. What you'll do is just go to any activity or any profile page for uh, an athlete. So in this case, I'm gonna look at the profile page for TJ. And you can see that there's a, uh, a new icon here. And if you click that, it brings up the sync panel for TJ. And so we can go ahead and fill in any data that we want here, if we know those values. And we'll hit save and save, and then click enable sync. And that will begin the sync process for TJ. And we can just close that, and that will be running in the background. And then if we go back to our fitness tracking page, we'll now see that we have another athlete and his data is slowly being filled in. Now the other place that you can get that information is on a, uh, an activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and find some random activity here and click on it. And up here, you'll notice that there's also the sync panel icon. And it's orange, reddish when it's enabled, and it will be gray when it's disabled for the athlete. I think that about covers it. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks.